Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Greetings and welcome to the continuation of this lesson on how to bend conduit with a hand bender. The information which you are about to receive right now used to be contained in a separate lesson called Advanced How to Bend Conduit with a Hand Bender. However, we've decided to include this information all together in one lesson and we've taken the advanced lesson and we've edited it, we've made it even better and we've uh, taken some of the comments we've gotten from some of our students and we've enhanced it and improved the quality of it. So let's start with some new information and this is going to help you continue to increase your pipe bending skills. By now we should be pretty good at measuring our conduit and marking our pipe. Well, now I'm going to show you some techniques. They're not really shortcuts, but you're just doing the math in your head. And when you're comfortable with actually measuring and marking the pipe, and you can do the math in your head, then you can actually save a couple of steps, mark your conduit quicker, and I'm even going to show you some techniques where you don't even have to mark your conduit. And you're going to be able to bend your pipe much more efficiently. And you're going to be able to do this without leaving any marks on the conduit. So let's look at some conduit right now and let's make some basic bends using some of these new techniques. I think you're going to like them. Here we have a stick of three quarter inch conduit. Now if we wanted to make a 90 degree stub that was 10 inches long, we know that we can deduct six inches and mark the pipe at four inches, put the arrow mark there and bend it. However, instead of doing the math, we can do our deduct like this. All we have to do is hold six inches away and just mark the pipe at ten. And that's exactly the same as marking the pipe at four inches. So you get the same result. Now another trick you can do and without even marking the pipe, all you have to do is take your bender, and this is one that I like a lot. You, you don't even have to mark the pipe, you do this one. You take your conduit and you place it in your bender. And you have it just a little bit loose. Now remember, we wanted a 10 inch 90. So we know that we have to mark the pipe at 4 inches and place it at the arrow, which is right here. I'm going to take my red marker and I'm going to mark the arrow of my bender here. That should show up a little bit better on the camera for us now. So what I'll do now, now I don't have the pipe tight, too tight in there. I'm going to take my tape and I'm just going to slide it like this until my arrow gets to four. And I got that right there. And you can see right there that the arrow is at the four. And that's the same as deducting the six inches and having it at ten, as you can see there but I didn't have to mark the pipe. So, all I have to do now is just bend this. And I'm going to do this very quickly now. We're going to start moving much quicker with our bending in this section. Okay, that looks pretty close to level. I'm going to check it real quick. Okay. And you can see that we're at 10 inches. And so we did that without marking our conduit. Okay, now another trick that I like to use is instead of using the arrow, you can mark at the front of the bender here. In other words, uh, put this where you're bending. At the front of the bender, use that as a mark. Now, it's an inch and a half. If we measure this, it's an inch and a half from the arrow, which means if our deduct is six inches, then if we're going to put the mark here instead of the arrow, we have to add an inch and a half to the deduct. So the deduct has to be seven and a half inches. So if we were to do that, let's combine a couple techniques that we've just learned here. Let's bend the pipe, let's make a, a 10 inch 90. Now, if a deduct is seven and a half inches, if we're going to bend from the front of the bender, I'm going to put seven and a half inches right here, 
let me get that in this picture more, seven and a half inches to the front of the pipe, and I'm going to mark ten, right there. Now I'm going to do something else, I'm going to put six here, and I'm going to mark ten here, because I want, to, I want you to see how this works. Now again, tricks like this you should test on a uh, scrap piece of conduit to make sure they're going to work out for you. But if I put the first mark here at the front of the bender, and the reason people do this oftentimes is easier for them to see than it is to find this arrow. But if I do that, you can see here that I've got the one line here at the arrow and I've got the other here at the front of the bender. And I can bend this again, and we really don't have to do this. We know it's going to turn out properly. We've done this so many times. That looks close to 90. Let me check that real quick. Well, not quite. And the nice thing about this is I can see it from the top here if I have to put the bender back on. So that, that kind of helps me if I don't quite get it all the way the first time. And you can see we're at 10 inches and that should be no surprise. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.